Is this, um, some kind of Japanese food? Is this terrible localization like that Pokemon episode? <laughs> They're jelly-filled donuts when they were really rice balls. Like, I don't know. Are these donuts? Maybe these are homemade donuts. You don't even put a hole in them. I don't know. Maybe. Hi guys, I just want to take a second to thank all my patrons here who have donated to me. No matter how much they've donated to me, it really means a lot to me. And if you guys want, you can check out my Patreon and help support me continue to make Yaoi videos. Thanks guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Dramatical Murder. In the last episode, Granny didn't die, I guess. I mean, <laughs> she almost died or something? I, I don't know. I don't care. But here's Best Boy right here in our room. <laughs> the person in front of the computer looks up slowly as if he only just realizes my presence. He's a completely unfamiliar face and I've never seen him before in my life. He seems to be about the same age as me. How old are we again? 22? 23, I want to say? Okay, sure. What? Who Who are you? And why are you in my room? Wait, did he say something? Did I skip over it? <laughs> I totally skipped over it. Um, what voice am I going to give to him? Uh, welcome back. Maybe just something quiet. He seems quiet. By the way... He ignores me as I tremble with anger and taps on the keyboard with his middle finger. What? Is that? <laughs> Is he taunting us? <laughs> hey! I didn't say you could touch that! Is this ours? Is this our computer? Is our computer a holograph? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand the data inside of here at all. What's this even supposed to be? Even the all mate remodeling program here is complicated. Who the hell are you? Like hell I tell you, just get out! <laughs> Can we really, are we really just expecting to be able to reason with him? He literally broke into our house and is just sitting here defiantly. What are we expecting? The man laughs through his nose as if he's looking down on me and stands up. Hey you, don't you know who I am? What? what it's pretty obvious, Alba. Come on. I think you do now, though. I don't... I don't know you at all! You've got the wrong guy! Oh, come on, Alba. We know who he is inside of our heart, if nowhere else. <laughs> the man looks into my eyes and opens his mouth slowly. This time, it is such an honor. So let's have a fun game, shall we? I've heard that somewhere before! What? Where was it? I've got a very unpleasant feeling. Still don't know. The man takes something out of his pants pocket. It's something full of rabbit heads. A keychain. This guy... Satisfied with my reaction, the man drops a keychain and looks at me. It was a pretty entertaining setup, wasn't it? Misdirected home delivery and all. W were you the drive buyer back then? And the home delivery? Were you the one that ordered from us? Yeah, when I investigated various things, I found out you worked there, so I thought I'd have you come to me. What? Why was he? Why was he looking for us? I don't. I don't get it. What? A, what about us? Did he have to come looking for us to challenge us to rhyme? Seems like there's some secrets <laughs> about Alba. I mean, obviously he can feel with his hair. Obviously, there's something. <laughs> there's something not quite right about Alba. I paid in advance, so there's no problems for the shop, right? That's not the issue! I recall how- I mean, <laughs> I recall how completely at a loss Hagasan was, and the anger wells up. By the way, it was like that before too, but when we did rhyme, what did you do? What are you talking about? 
Don't play dumb. I'm asking how you beat me. Beat you? During that drive-by thing. I mean, why am I doing that? D during that drive-by thing, did I beat this guy? I can't remember. Are you deaf? Say something. No, I'm not deaf. <laughs> I just don't remember. What? I can't remember a thing about what happened during Rhyme. The man frowns a little, but immediately forms a straight face again. So that's how you try to get out of it. Gah! Did he just punch us? Suddenly he grabs me by my coat collar and presses me against the wall. Ooh, yeah. This guy's stronger than he looks. Ooh, yeah. Then I'll have to use force. It seems to be the most effective way for you. Gah! Let me go! You really don't remember? I don't remember! The man stares into my eyes intently, as if he's trying to find something. Fight me and rhyme one more time. What? I don't know how to do rhyme. Ugh! I'm pressed against the wall with even more force. I thought we knew how to fight. Didn't Alba or somebody say that we knew how to fight? I guess we don't, because we're just getting manhandled here. But then again, who wouldn't let themselves get manhandled? by all this man. <laughs> Still going to say that. I'll push you even harder against the wall if, if you don't if you don't tell me or if you don't agree to play rhyme with me again. Oh no, please don't push us harder against the wall. Oh no. Then I'll destroy what's important to you. Oh my god, is he gonna smash Ren with a hammer? <laughs> I know what's important to you. I know all about it. The man's eyes look at the computer, suggesting something. Oh no! He knows what's really important to me! My my vintage porn collection! Please, don't! What's this guy t What this guy's talking about is probably Ren. Oh, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> he's threatening me. If I don't accept, he's really gonna do it. A dangerous atmosphere fills the room. But even now, I don't feel like fighting him in rhyme. And I'm beginning to get angry at his ridiculous behavior. Oh well, I don't feel like fighting him in rhyme. <laughs> I guess bye, Ren. Hmm, that seems like a thing we should save right before. <laughs> okay, now... We're not using a guide in this game, obviously. I don't like using guides on first playthroughs. And, um... I... Baby, you brat? I mean, that's... That's less... Um, confrontational than fight back. Which means maybe that'll eventually let us fuck him? Maybe? Wait, isn't this just like a little kid throwing a temper tantrum? Cut it out, and actually listen for a second. I'm not pretending to not know or anything. I stare firmly at his eyes, truly trying to convince him. I really don't remember if I beat you, and I don't understand rhyme really well, so... But I'm roughly pushed down in the middle of my sentence. Ooh, pitched down to the ground. Ouch! While I endure the pain that hits straight to my to my back, the man sits on my stomach. Ooh, is he gonna ride us? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Why are you taking off my pants? Shut up. With an indifferent expression, the man holds my arms and suddenly twists it. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> God, you're such a girl, Alba. <laughs> Literally do something. You can still do rhyme with only one hand. Gah! This guy! If you don't want a broken arm, fight me. My arm creaks, bent backwards and twisted at the joint. I absolutely do not want to do rhyme. What is wrong with you? It's just a game. Jesus, Alba, relax. Just do fucking rhyme. I don't want to make any trouble for Ren either. Is there some reason that 
Alba has this aversion to rhyme. Like this is this is literally unhealthy. <laughs> I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's some mega important plot twisty story reason why he just can't play rhyme I and mean, he just refuses. What should I do? Um What what kind of choice is this? How could I ever know what the outcome of either of these choices could be? They're so... Okay, well, I don't know what's gonna get me with noise, but... I hear something on the roof. I hear a heavy sound from somewhere, but I can't afford to think about what it is. Th that hurts! A strong pain runs through my arm and I grip my teeth. Um, is that clear? Hmm, maybe I should have been able to guess. Because maybe Kojaku would have come from the door, but clear falls from the sky, kind of like he like he did before. I don't know, maybe that's how I could have known. Well, that's good. I didn't want Kojaku here. <laughs> I don't care about him. Suddenly, I hear the voice of a different person. I turn to look, and I'm very startled. Oh, and he didn't even say the line that Clear said. <laughs> Whatever. Y you Hello, Master. I'm not sure when he came in, but next to me the man stands. The gas-wearing mask guy I'd met in front of Haybon. The man in green stands cautious with his whole body like a hedgehog, and moves to put some distance between him and the mask guy. What the hell? What the hell is standing like a hedgehog? His body stands cautious like a hedgehog. What does that mean? What? What? I don't... The only hedgehog I fucking know is Sonic. Is he rolling into a fucking ball and going at mock speed? I don't know what that means. I rub my aching arm when I'm released, then straighten myself. You. When'd you come in? Just now, through that door over there. Master, is this a friend of yours? N no hmm, but that's... that door's... When I look at the veranda, I see the door wide open. No, the lock's been cut off completely. What the fuck? <laughs> You're destroying my property? You! What have you done? <laughs> the door was closed, so I opened it. That's not what I meant! Master? Oh wait, no, that was noise. Master? Yes, Master is my master. Are you kidding me? The man scowls at the other man, an eye with a fierce expression. Even though he's looking at me like that, I have no idea what's happening at all. I mean, everything's getting confusing and... Anyway, Please don't bully Master. I won't allow it. That's ridiculous. Don't tell me he's actually really getting angry. The man in green turns his body towards the gas mask guy. I can feel his bloodlust even as he faces the other way. <laughs> hey! I have to stop them. Do we? If my room gets anywhere messed up, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> if Grandma comes in and sees how, how fucked up my room is, I'm gonna get grounded forever. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh, Kojaku, come on. I didn't think you were gonna show up. I picked a, I thought I picked a choice that wouldn't make you show up. Why are you here? <laughs> Alba. Huh? Suddenly, the door opens and Kojaku flies in. Are you okay? Kojaku, why are you... I sent you a message saying I'd come here to talk about Mizuki, didn't I? Then I saw some weirdo in a gas mask going in through the veranda. What? Were you camping outside our house? So I came in a hurry. Seems that someone else besides gas mask guy is here too. Kojaku fixes his eyes on the gas mask man and then the man in green. The way I'm seeing it, you're the ones who are in the way. So you're not that guy's friend. Don't lump me in with him. 
We certainly have not yet put each other in a category called friends. Anyway, you guys better leave right now, or else I'll throw you out. <laughs> How? I guess I wouldn't have any other choice but to use brute force. I'd like to see you try. Ooh, can Noise fight? I mean, he's been really, um, <laughs> manhandling us, so maybe. The man raises the edge of his mouth to provoke Kojaku. You're shouldering some big stuff. Are you actually so weak you need something? You need to do something like that? Normally, he would never be provoked by something like this, but is he actually? Kojaku puts both hands together and cracks his knuckles in front of me. I thought, can he? I, I just assumed that arm of his, his left arm is broken or something. Look at how he's always hanging it like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's useless to try and stop him. I'll shut that bratty mouth of yours up right now. Hey, wait a minute. As soon as I say that, Kojoku takes a long stride towards the man. The distance between the two becomes smaller as he tries to catch him. Oh shit, why did I just have a flash of light? Are they trying to give me a seizure? Huh? The man dodges quickly, drops low, and tries to hit Kojaku. God damn it. I'm literally gonna get a seizure. <laughs> this isn't cool. Just before the man's fist can graze his cheek, Kojaku avoids it. Hey, I shouldn't just be sitting around and watching and narrating and giving a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> stop it! I just imagine Keitaro shouting, stop it. <laughs> this is my room! Both of them are strong, aren't they? Now's not the time to say something so carefree! Aside from with this aside from with this man, that's a really awkward start to a sentence. Aside from with this man. Is that even English? Kojaku usually had lots of patience. He must have a short temper switch for some situations. That's a really weird sentence. This is just a bad sentence. If the switch is turned on, he won't listen to anyone else. As the two of them brawl on the floor, the magazines and trash can also on the floor are kicked, stepped on, and crushed. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Why are you moaning about this, Alba? Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm... I'm just choosing to make things even worse and moan. The other stuff is fine, but please don't go near the computer. <laughs> you can smash everything you want except the computer in before they immediately go to the computer and smash that. Can you both just freaking stop? The sound of the two of them rampaging almost covers my shout, but I can hear pounding footsteps coming up the stairs towards my room. Oh no! Could it be Granny? Oh god, she's gonna totally ground me. You guys! <laughs> oh god, Granny's gonna ground us all. Oh shit. Um. You brats are too noisy! Give me a break! The door opens violently, and Granny's angry voice echoes throughout the room. Kojaku, the man in green, the gas mask guy, and I all stop moving and turn to look at Granny as if we were little chicks. You youngsters! A very visible blood vessel appears on her forehead, and she looks at us with burning eyes. Everyone downstairs! Right now! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, look at his face. He's beautiful. Oh, uh, whatever, Kajaka. Oh, look at Alba. Ouch! <laughs> Granny totally gave me a bruise on my on my head, apparently. Look at that, there's a little bandage. Following Granny's orders, we headed downstairs and sat silently at the table. <laughs> my head hurts. Granny hit me. Of course, everyone else got the same treatment. This is... this is... this is corporal punishment, Granny, come on. Every one of us was at fault, so as a result, we were all hit, and now there are large bumps on our heads. When I saw Granny going over to hit the man in green earlier, I was afraid he would fight back, but even though he was in an openly bad mood, he didn't really say anything. 
I wonder why, because his opponent was a delicate old person, or maybe it was something completely different. When Granny asked me how all this happened in the first place, I confessed to forgetting to lock the front door again. Then I was also given a bump on the head. I'll make sure to never forget to lock the front door again. <laughs> oh, you guys. Just like a cartoon or something. What's going on? <laughs> um, literally? How are you supposed to tell who's talking? I'm just gonna say it's clear. <laughs> I never thought I'd be hit too. That reminds me, this gas mask guy said his name was Clear when I met him before. He has the same suspicious presence as the man in green. Alba! Come over here for a minute! Yeah, yeah. Granny calls me in the kitchen and I stand up from my chair while rubbing the bump. Earlier, I heard the sound of something being fried and a sweet smell filled the air. Well, if something's being fried and the kitchen table is right here and the kitchen and the stove top is right there I why I don't know just like it's weird that you're talking about it like like you can't even see what's going on <laughs> I don't know you heard the sound of something being fried what do you mean you mean you saw granny cooking right there two feet away from you I, I don't know I'm sorry I'm sorry for these tangents. <laughs> now when I look at Granny's hands, I see donuts piled in a basket covered with kitchen paper. So she really was cooking things for us. How? Wh where was she? This is the kitchen! You're in the kitchen! How are you not aware of what she's doing? Bring that! Everyone's fine with tea, right? Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, Granny. What? Is it okay for you to be up already? How's your hip? Can't you tell just by looking? Stop blabbing on and go already! Granny drives me off, and I return to the table with donuts, then I fill everyone's teacups and return to my own seat. After a while, Granny comes to sit down too. When people are full, their anger will naturally subside! Eat already! So these are for us. I could tell that you are making by the smell. Your donuts are exceptional, Tyson. Just hurry up and eat! Kojaku knows the smell of Granny's donuts well and immediately reaches out to the basket. Is that what donuts look like? Is this like... <laughs> is this, um... Some kind of Japanese food? Is this terrible localization like that Pokemon episode? <laughs> They're jelly-filled donuts when they were really rice balls. Like, I don't know. Are these donuts? Maybe these are homemade donuts. You don't even put a hole in them. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they are donuts. I don't know. <laughs> the man in the green and the gas mask guy keeps staring at the donuts as if they're completely alien objects. <laughs> they don't look like any donuts they've ever seen, or frankly, donuts that I've ever seen, so maybe they really are alien objects. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna assume that's Tyson. If you're going to eat, then eat! If not, then don't! The gas mask guy can't eat if he doesn't remove the mask, and the man in green doesn't even seem to want to eat in the first place. But what? But he's eating. <laughs> I didn't think he would, but surprisingly enough, he picks up a donut. He still looks grumpy, but he starts to nibble at his donut. They're sweet. That's a given! It's that kind of food! Unless this is Alba. I don't know. But it's still sweet. I think this is Alba. <laughs> Maybe. You don't have to force yourself to eat it. No, it was Granny, I think. Maybe. It's impossible to tell, guys. God, I know someone's in the comments gonna be like, maybe you should turn on the voices. I don't have fun <laughs> when I'm just listening to Japanese voices that I can't understand, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Granny snorts, displeased. The man continues gnawing at his donut. It's completely impossible to read what this guy is thinking. I then look at the gas mask guy to clear, and it looks like he hasn't moved at all. You're not going to eat? Granny's donuts are delicious. I'll eat. Then I guess you'd better hurry. Why? There's so many donuts. 
Yes, I'll eat. Clear keeps still. If he can't eat, if he doesn't take off his mask, will he still take one? If he can't eat, if he doesn't take off his mask, will he still take one? I mean, that's grammatically correct, I think. But these sentences are phrased really weirdly. Like, no one phrases a sentence like that. Expecting something to happen, I continue to stare at Clear while lightly sipping my tea. Huh? I realize a donut from Clear's side of the basket is now gone. And I think the mask is moving up and down. You! Did you just eat one? Yes! I did! They're delicious! Maybe it's a superpower. Did he eat it while wearing his gas mask? How? How does that gas mask even stay on his head? He doesn't seem to wrap all the way around. Are you guys seeing that? Look at the straps. I don't understand how that stays on his head. Well, let's not go there. Go where? <laughs> I grab a donut and start eating too. Granny's donuts are so good even when cooled down, but they're freshly made. A special gentle sweetness will flow through your mouth when you take a bite. As I taste my donut, Kojaku who's already finished eating stands up. He turns around before going to the hallway and beckons me to come over. Me? Who else? Who else do you think he's beckoning to? The two people he doesn't even know at the table? When I point to myself, Kojaku nods several times. Oh wow, I thought he was pointing to Granny. I thought he wanted a booty call from this pink-haired bitch. What is it? I lower my half-eaten donut and stand up to go into the hallway with Kojaku. Phew. Everything got really confusing all of a sudden. I guess he wanted to escape the strange atmosphere in the living room. He lets out a sigh, maybe because he only feels comfortable away from everyone else. Yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, about Mizuki, did you contact or meet with him at all? Yeah, I called him. He said he was fine, but I felt like he wasn't as energetic as before. Really? Did something happen to Mizuki? Well, I told you that Mizuki was acting strange, didn't I? Around then, members of my team and members of Dry Juice had some trouble. Mizuki was also there. Hasn't he always tried to negotiate things out before? Wait, was I just reading? No, that was my fault. That was... that was clearly... Wait, I don't know who's talking. That was clearly Kojaku, wasn't it? Probably. For some reason, he just seemed kind of absent-minded. No, that's, this is Alba. For some reason, he seemed kind of absent-minded and kept trying to space out, and he just watched the fight without trying to stop it. In the end, I had to stop it instead. Wait, no, this was Kojaku. I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm an idiot. I thought Muzika looked strange and asked if he was alright. When I did, he gave me this leave-me-alone glare. Mizuki did? I wish the names would just appear above whoever's talking. Like, there's so many people talking. Like, in that last scene, there are like five people. Why can't they just show the names? I don't... I don't know. Like, look at all this extra space this HUD is taking up. But, like, it's just giving this tiny little lines and not even names. Like, I don't know. Yeah, he didn't look like his usual self. Seemed like he was brooding over something. Alba, can't you remember anything? Has he been having any trouble recently? Earlier, when I was at Mizuki's shop, we did talk about the mysterious disappearances. Oh, and his shop is apparently failing. <laughs> Maybe he's just angry that he's not making mad money anymore. Ah, the rumors about the entire rib team's disappearing, right? I think he was really worried about that. I've definitely heard that there are teams that have disappeared, but... I don't even know how to do this. This is, that's little that's noises little cube. Morphine! Morphine! Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Both Kojaku and I are surprised when we suddenly hear a high pitched voice. Well, it was high pitched. Something right behind my back falls on the floor. That thing! It's his! What rolls on the floor is one of the cubes that rabbit headed man had attached to his waist. Was it in the hood of my jacket? The cubes hops back towards the living room. That guy. Kojaku chases after the cube into the living room. Hey, you little shit. You were eavesdropping just now, weren't you? 
It's not like it was something worth going to the trouble of asking about. Bastard. Like the mysterious disappearances, Rib's not trendy anymore these days, so it doesn't feel like they're just holding some exciting event. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Kojaka voice shows clear anger. Hey, it's not a joking matter. There really are teams that haven't returned. Who cares, actually? I'm so with fucking noise. I don't know. Doesn't it only mean it's better to stop doing rib if you're scared? You bastard! Kojaka becomes angry, and the man looks at him even more coldly. You, what's your name? It's good manners to give your own name first. An asshole like you probably doesn't even have any manners. Why should I have to? Then don't ask. Wait a minute, this doesn't need to get ugly. He's Kojaku, and you? Oh yeah, I guess we haven't even heard his name yet. <laughs> Noise. Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> if we had the voice on, um, you would have heard that. Too bad, I really like getting shocked and surprised <laughs> by those character entrances. No one likes little shits like you. I don't really care if you like me or not. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, how dare you not care about my opinion? <laughs> like, I don't know what you're reacting to, Kojaku. That's enough! Granny, who remains silent until now, suddenly cuts off all the hostility between the two with a single sentence. If you're going to fight, do it elsewhere! You're so noisy, I can't stand it! S sorry, Tyson. Glancing at the apologizing Kojaku, Noise stands up in silence. Hey, where are you going? Home. As soon as he mutters that, he leaves the living room. And the rest of you, if you finished eating, go back home! This isn't a fucking hotel! Clear rises to Granny's voice and bows. It was delicious. Well then, Master, goodbye. Ah, uh, wait a sec. Clear exits the living room to the hallway as they chase after him. Yes? What is it? Well, whether we meet again or not, if there's a second time, come in normally. Normally? Don't fall in from the sky or come in through the veranda. Normally people come in through the front door. Why can't I come in from the sky or the veranda? It's just weird, okay? And startling. It's bad for the heart. Bad for the heart? I see. I understand. Clear raises his hand with a yes and then puts it to his chest. <laughs> it's about the heart here, right? Ah, uh, well, yeah, but... When I'm with Master, I learn a lot. Thank you very much. R really Until the next time. Y yeah Bowing once again, Clear leaves from the entryway. What's up with that gas mask guy? Kojoku returns to the hallway from the living room, muttering about Clear. I don't know. He's not someone you know? Someone I know? Well, I don't think so. I don't really know him. Hey, hey, keep it together. Kojoku looks amazed, but unexpectedly, he rubs his neck with one hand as if he's embarrassed. I'm sorry about earlier. I just kind of snapped. It would be nice if you could tell Tyson too. You apologized earlier. I think it's fine. And I'm sorry for going nuts like that in your room. Uh, well, it's over already, and all my stuff is already smashed. I'm over it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you so angry, though. I'm no good with guys like that who don't know how to compromise. Kojoku sighs with a defeated expression. I remembered it just now, but isn't he in a rhyme team? Well, obviously. But rhyme team? Yeah, I think it was a rhyme. It was named Rough Rabbit. Before, when our team and members of another team had a fight, I remember seeing him there. He seemed to know I was doing rib too, so I guess I'm right. The more I think about it, the worse it makes me feel. What, just because he does rhyme? So rhyme has teams too. 
I didn't know that. How stupid are you? It's like Alba literally lives another century. I think they only started forming teams recently. They're probably just doing it to gather information more easily. It just bothers me. Literally everything bothers you people about Rhyme, and I don't know why. In Rib, there are a lot of guys who think that being teammates equals being family, but Rhyme might be different in that aspect. Dry and efficient. Just by looking at noise, it's clear enough. What does that mean? I didn't understand what that sentence even meant. Dry and efficient, just looking at noise... I don't... I don't know what that means whatsoever. <laughs> well, putting that guy aside, I'll make it so I can help out Mizuki too. If you know anything, give me a call. Okay. See ya. Kojoku raises one hand and walks out the front door. Woo! After seeing Kojaku off, I return to my room feeling a little weak. Maybe I'm so tired because of all the things that happened today. Oh right, I forgot to tell Kojaku that it was Noise who had pulled me into Rhyme. You literally forget the most important things. But if I tell him, the next time he sees Noise, he'll do nothing but pick a fight. Hmm. Alright guys, I think I'll end this episode of Dramatical Murder here, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.